Hello world, I'm Mandy Mundo and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this video, I am in the lovely wine region of the Elki Valley. It's about one to two hours from La Serena, so I booked a tour that picked me up at my hotel in La Serena and then dropped me off in Pisco Elki. The tour included a couple stops for Pisco tasting and then a little bit of wine tasting. It was actually mostly Pisco. Pisco is a liquor made by fermenting the grape juice and it's mostly used in making the cocktail Pisco Sours. Next, we went to a traditional solar cooking restaurant where they use the power of the sun to cook the food. my starter I picked a chicken soup and then for my main I picked a vegetarian kind of spinach and cheese lasagna and while we were leaving the driver slash tour guide found a cactus plant and picked us some cactus fruits he peeled it for me Just before we got to Pisco Elki, we came upon this very large vineyard property, which my guide said is owned by the richest man in Chile. The driver dropped me off because he said I had to experience the magic of entering Pisco Elki. <laughs> so it's about five minutes of walk into the plaza. I have to experience the magic. And once the tour was over, I was able to check into my accommodation. I will be staying two nights in Pisco Elki. Down this secret alleyway, you will find the passage to my accommodation. And through the secret door. little seating area. Home sweet home. So here's my little kitchen. I heated up some leftovers this morning for breakfast. There's the bathroom. There's the bedroom, and then there's also a small bed out here, so you can technically sleep three people in here, and it was 56 US dollars a night. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. The owner of the Airbnb recommended two different distilleries. One of them is an hour walk away, or I'd have to rent a bike. And the other one is only 20 minutes walk away. The Dania Josefa Pisco Artisanal. Check it out. They even have a restaurant and cabanas and a pool if you're staying in the cabanas. I gotta walk back up it. Gross. They offer a free tour that you usually wouldn't have to make a reservation for. While I wait, I get a little Pisco drink. This is the machine to boil the water. 
goes through there in the neck. And then depending on how much time, you get different levels of alcohol. My guide said when you are choosing to drink Pisco to make sure to get 40% or higher because under 40% it has more minerals, which will lead to a hangover. And then it finished up with a Pisco tasting. Afterwards, I sat at the restaurant for a Pisco sour. And of course it came with the traditional bread and salsa appetizer. And this also was the best one I've had so far. I'll have to try and replicate it. I think it's just tomatoes, onions, looks like yellow pepper, probably cilantro, and just lots of oil. That place was so cute and a very good recommendation. And the free tour, perfect. In English, exactly what you need. For dinner that night, I got a recommendation from yesterday's driving tour guide. So I went to this restaurant for a meal. There's chickens! <coughs> and a dog. I don't actually know what I ordered. I just asked him what his favorite was. It looks to be a fried pork rib, maybe? I was close, baked pork rib, and it was good. I just couldn't finish it because I was full, uh, but I will eat the rest for breakfast in the morning. And the bread and salsa that they had, their salsa was spicy. So every restaurant has been a little bit different. If you want to get good pictures of the plaza with nobody else in it, you gotta go in the morning before all the day tours get here. And then sometimes at night they have shows and performances. After Pisco Elki, I stayed two nights in the Cunha. Okay, so I decided to spoil myself here. This is probably the nicest place I'm gonna stay at my whole trip. This is the Solar Madariaga Hotel. And I just wanted something calm and peaceful, but really I wanted something with a bathtub, a separate bathtub from the shower, because I really wanted to take a bath. So this is the room I got. Toilet room. <gasps> natural lighting and then the shower and then I think Jeremy would be so jealous Whoa. it's actually a family room I think so that's why there's two beds and the receptionist said that the tapestry the colors the design is because the artist was inspired by the Elki Valley so the colors of the Elki Valley and this building is 150 years old and the doors and I think the wood floors are original so and then this is my door and these open into the courtyard I'm right next to the restaurant and that's my room from the outside. So there's my bathroom window, there's my bedroom window. And there's the restaurant. I ate at that restaurant one night. I had some ravioli. And then the other night I went to a different restaurant and had fries and some ceviche. I spent some of my time enjoying the pool. On that rooftop is where the jacuzzis are, but you have to pay extra for that. It's like 50 US dollars, but you get it for the whole evening. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. It's too hot for a jacuzzi anyway. Besides, I have my own bubble bath. I ordered my breakfast in Spanish. I didn't know all of what he said, but I got most of it, so I got the tea. And then I realized I got mixed plate, which is fine. So avocado, eggs, toast. 
and I know I picked fruit for my dessert. And get to enjoy the courtyard. The plaza in Bacuña and the town itself is much larger than Pisco Elki, so more people, more shopping, more restaurants, a lot busier. And you can hang out with Gabriella Mistral. Gabriella Mistral won the Nobel Prize in 1945, and Bacuña was where she was born. And it's free! The stone carving on the ground is a map, chronological, of the places that she lived. So she was born in Vicuña, and then she died in New York. Most of the museum is in Spanish, but you'll find little parts that are in English. So this is books from her library in Serena. There's even an outdoor garden. Ooh. And lavender. No, look. Oh. On the site is the house that she was born in. And my driver tour guide from the other day actually took me here to Bacuña and introduced me to the museum, but it was a quick little like half an hour, so I'm glad I came back and got to explore it myself. There are two different observatories, the Mamaluca and the Pange, and my tour guide from the other day said do the Pange, not the Mamaluca. So that's what I'm going to do. Right. We met up for the tour about 8 or 8.30 at night, and then it was about a 45 minute drive to the observatory. So we got to leave Vicuña as the sun was setting. There were two guides, one for the English speakers and one for the Spanish speakers. And the 25 inch telescope was the one that was recommended to me, the big one. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. Are you? Oh, yeah. We're from England, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is just incredible. Yeah. It was so big that you had to get on a ladder in order to look through the the viewfinder. Yes, it's so big. I wish I could show you more, but alas, it was got so dark so quick, but we saw Jupiter, nebulas, different galaxies. It was awesome. So that's how I ended my trip in the Elki Valley. Thanks so much for watching.